Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to find sum of odd numbers in an array. Let us write preprocessor directives hash include stdio.h hash include conio.h wide main function curly open brace and here in the declaration section I am going to declare all the variables are of type integers so array a of 10 i and sum is equal to 0 and I will take n now let us ask the user to enter how many elements in printf function here I will write how many elements and the double quotation mark put semicolon we will receive the response from the user through keyboard using scanf function write format specifier percentage d in a double quotation mark and ampersand of n and semicolon now we are, we are going to enter element uh, one by one using printf statement here i am going to display the message as enter the elements backward slash n double quotation and semicolon so this backward slash brings the cursor down to the next line so in order to enter elements one by one we have to use looping structure for i is equal to zero i is less than n and i plus plus and now we are going to receive the elements using scanf function here in a double quotation mark i'm going to write percentage d comma ampersand a of i and semicolon once again i'm going to use the same for loop for i is equal to zero i is less than n and i plus plus now we are going to check the condition whether the element stored in each consecutive block is divisible by two or not if it is not going to give us a remainder 0 then it is odd number so such odd numbers are to be added so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write if a of i modular division by 2 not equal to 0 modular division always gives us a remainder if the remainder is not equal to 0 means what if it is any number other than 0 then such numbers are called odd numbers and we want to find the sum of odd numbers in an array so let us continue with the next statement here i'm going to write sum is equal to sum plus a of i and then put semicolon now i'm going to write printf statement here in a double quotation mark i'm going to write sum is equal to percentage d and the double quotation mark comma and write the variable sum and next we'll write get ch function and curly closing brace now once we compile and run this program here it is going to ask how many elements i'm going to write how many elements here i'm going to write for example five so here n is receiving value five enter the elements using for loop iteration we are going to receive elements uh, one by one so for example i want to uh, enter uh, the elements so here it is going to ask enter the elements so because of this backward slash n the cursor will come down and here i'm going to enter one two three four and five so in memory so this will form a consecutive memory blocks whose index number starts from 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 and here the name of array is a now we are going to check each block consisting of number whether it is divisible by 2 or not using for loop so for i is equal to 0 for the first time and here in if condition we are writing a of i 
modular division by 2 not equal to 0. So here e of 0, e of 0 consisting of what? 1 modular division by 2. So modular division gives us remainder. So here 1 means odd number and it cannot be divided by 2. If the numerator is less than denominator, then the numerator acts as a remainder and the quotient becomes 0. So here 1 will become the remainder which is not equal to 0. So this condition is true. Once the condition is true, this particular statement will get executed. So it is going to perform sum is equal to for the first time sum is 0. Here I will write sum is 0. A of 0 consisting of what? 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. So this value will be stored in a variable called sum. Again control transfers back to for by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now i value is 1. So a of 1 consisting of what? 2. So 2 modular division by 2. So 2 ones are 2 ones are. Here remainder is 0 which is not equal to 0. Here we are checking not equal to 0 and here it is 0. Hence the condition fails. Once the condition fails, this particular statement will not get executed. Again, control transfers back to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now, i value will become 2. So, here a of 2 consisting of what? 3. So, 3 modular division by 2. Here, 2 ones are 2 ones are and 1 is the remainder which is not equal to 0. So, in this situation, if this is true, then this particular statement will get executed. So again sum is equal to sum. Now the value of sum is 1 plus a of 2 consisting of what? 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4. So this value will be stored in sum. Again control transfers back to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now the value of i is 3. So a of 3 consisting of what? 4. So 4 modular division by 2. So 2 ones are 2, 2 ones are 4. Remainder is 0. Here if it is not equal to 0 then only this particular statement will get executed. Here it is equal to 0 hence it is false. It is not going to execute. Again control transfers back to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now i value will become 4. So a of 4, a of 4 consisting of what? 5. So that is 5 modular division by 2. So 2 ones are 2, 2 are 4. 1 is remainder which is not equal to 0. Hence it is true. Once this condition is true, this particular statement will get executed. That is sum is equal to sum. Sum now it is 4 plus a of 4. a of 4 consisting of what? 5 is equal to 4 plus 5 is 9. Again control transfers back to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now it will become 5. So here we do not have index number 5 hence the condition will become false. Once the condition is false the controls come out of the looping structure and it is going to execute the next statement. Here you can see we have got printf statement in this. So it is going to print sum is equal to percentage d and sum. What is the value stored in sum? That is 9. So it is going to display 9. So let us execute this program. For that, I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ compiler to save your time. Now we are going to compile this program by pressing Alt F9. It is showing success means there is no syntax error. I am going to press enter and now we are going to run this program by pressing Control F9. Here it is asking the user to enter how many elements. I am going to enter 5 and then I am going to enter 5 elements. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now I am going to press enter. So here it is showing sum is equal to 9. So it is adding all the odd numbers. That is 1 plus 3, 4, 4 plus 5 is 9. I hope you understood. If so, please write in a comment box as understood. Thank you.